Hi, it's Heather and I'm here with a late November 2021 festivals. It should have been done last week, but obviously wasn't. Sorry, I had a bit of a thing going on. So, yes, I know, technology isn't it grand? Um, let's start with yesterday, which was All Saints Day in... It says Western churches, so basic Christianity. Today is All Souls Day, again, Christianity. It's also Day of the Dead for anything body, basically anything vaguely Spanish. You're going to be celebrating today. Big up the school face paints. It's also... Um, Today being the second, by the way, anniversary of the crowning of Haile Selassie I, which is a Rastafarian um, celebration. I've decided, this is the second take I've done of this video, that I'm actually going to do a deep dive into Rastafarianism at some point and put that in festivals. Um, because I don't actually know much about Rastafarianism as a whole, so... It's going to be a thing. Anyway, one of the holiest days of the Rastafarian year today celebrates Haile Selassie's or Haile Selassie's ascension to the Ethiopian throne, which is kind of cool and handy. On the 5th, it's Guy Fawkes Night in the UK. On the 4th to the 9th ish, it's Diwali or Diwali, depending on how you want to say it. Between the Hindu and Jain peoples, it's also celebrated by the Sikhs. We'll get on to the Sikh bit slightly later. Okay, for Hindus, it doesn't actually say much about the Jains. Sorry about that. I do feel it's a bit of a misnomer that it says that it's Jain and then doesn't mention anything that you do. Sorry, guys. Uh, for Hindus, this is a New Year's festival. It lasts one to five days. Fireworks are set off. Please use si silent fireworks where possible. And lights are hung out. The lamps are there to help Rama and Sita find their way home from their exile. It's also the beginning of the Indian financial year and is generally associated with Lakshmi, goddess of wealth and prosperity. For Sikhs, um, it celebrates the day of Guru Hargobind's sixth, the sixth Gurus, was released from Gwalior, I've said that completely wrong, I know this, uh, prison, along with, hopefully silent fireworks, new clothes, presents and sweets, are either given or worn, but again, it was a bit sketchy on explaining all this. So if any James would like to explain that would be quite good what you're doing for Diwali that would be nice uh any Sikhs what day are you actually celebrating on because frankly I'm from Leicester you seem to celebrate for the entirety of Diwali I'm good with that um but if there is a specific day if it's just like the fourth um you know as in the first day of Hindu Diwali let me know um, because like I say in Leicester you just seem to celebrate for the entirety of Diwali and I have no problem with that but it would be nice to be a little bit more precise just let me know in the comments somebody uh, on the 6th it's the anniversary of the birth of the Bab Baha'i um, on the 7th it's the anniversary of the birth of the Baha'u'llah Baha'u'llah. Yeah, I've completely killed that. That's another Baha'i festival. On the 12th, it's Loi Kratong, Buddhist. Loi Kratong is celebrated in most village and town temples in Thailand. Um, so it is a pretty specific one. Um, and often coincides with Katina Day or Kathina Day. Uh, degradable baskets are made filled with carefully folded banana leaves, incense sticks, a candle and sometimes a coin. You see, this is the way to do things. 
stuff that rots. Uh, these are then launched on rivers, canals, ponds and the sea, while a wish for good fortune is offered to the water spirits. On the 14th is Remembrance Sunday, definitely in the UK and most of Europe. Um, I'm not sure if other places like America, Australia and places like that actually celebrate it as big as what we do over here. Again, I'm going to have to look up at, uh, at that. Um, but I know over here we tend to go big time on Remembrance Sunday. On the 14th to the 21st is Interfaith Week. So it begins on Remembrance Sunday and lasts until the following Sunday. Interfaith Week seeks to strengthen interfaith relations. And for more information on Interfaith Week, visit um, interfaithweek.org or www.interfaithweek.org. And um, the reason why it starts on Remembrance Sunday is because so many people of so many different faiths fought together in both the First and Second World Wars and successive wars. Um, so, you know, if we can fight together in a war, we can live together in the street. Basic message. On the 15th, gonna kill it, is the uh, Shichigo San, or the 753, I didn't kill it that time, uh, Japanese festival, girls of seven, boys of five, and girls of three get dressed in new clothes and go to the Shinto shrine and pray for their future well-being. So, cool little fashion parade going on. Um, that would actually be really cool to see pictures of that, just like the children all dressed up to the nines. Um, on the 19th, birthday of the Guru Nanak, which is Sikh, um, in 1469 CE. On the 24th, we have martyrdom of the Guru Tej Bahadur in 1675 CE. Again, Sikh. On the 25th, we have Day of the Covenant. Co covenant? I'm getting covenant and government confused here. I am sorry. Day of the Covenant, Baha'i. And on the 27th, we have um, Ascension of Abdul Bahu or Baha. I'm sorry, my writing wasn't very clear on that last letter. Um, again, Baha'i. And I'm sorry to any people who are Baha'i and are sitting there wanting to throttle me right now. I am sorry. I do try. Um, on the 28th, we have Advent Sunday, which is Christian. Um, between the 29th of November and the 6th of December, we have Hanukkah, which is Jewish, which celebrates the rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem after it was recaptured from the Syrian Greeks by the Maccabee brothers in 165 BCE for the eight evenings of the festival, candles are lit right to left, which would be right to left for you, um, in a Hanukkah, a nine-branched menorah, which is candlestick. I do know that one. Yay, I'm good. Um, one candle for each evening. The ninth candle is a shamash, which means servant candle, from which the other candles are lit. Foods are then cooked with oil, like donuts and potato cakes called latkes, um, to remember the miracle that happened at this time involving oil. The thing is, the site where I get most of this from is, um, how would you put it? seems to think it's a bunch of magicians and doesn't want to tell you its spells. So, again, I don't actually know much about Hanukkah. So whatever that miracle was that involved oil, I would love to know it. Anybody want to leave that to for me in the comments? Or just, like, um, cut and paste a web page so I can find that out and so can other people? That would be grand. Um... And I have a feeling at some point in the future, I'll be looking into that. That might be a thing for this time next year. Well, around this time next year for festivals to have a like little show into it, what Hanukkah is all about. 
And on the 30th, we have St Andrew's Day, which is Scotland and Christian. The site actually just said Christian, and I'm sitting there going, but that is like Scotland's patron saint, so I'm going to put Scotland in there as a thing, because their patron saint. Um, yeah, so we're almost at Christmas. And that's going to be fun because on the December one, I'm going to try and do, you know how I go in more into depth on certain ones? I'm going to try and go more into depth on the Christian things. And you can see by my face, it's just like collapse. Um, on the monthly overview. But what I am going to do is... Um, do a, a a lot of videos you know how i've just done them for halloween but there's lots of different christmases being in the uk we have christmas on december 25th and thou shalt not stray but i think it's something like between december 9th and january 10th there's something like 30 different christmases all with their own traditions so I want to do a little series on a few of these Christmases and what actually happens. And even for the December 25th Christmases, there are, each country has its own thing. Like in Iceland, you get new pyjamas and a book, you know, things like that. So it would be quite cool to see how other people have their Christmases. So I don't know how many of them I'll get done, but I'm going to try and do that. Let's see how it gets done um, but like I say there are a lot of Christmases so I don't think I'm going to get them all done this year and there are other religions to do so it may take me a few years to get all the Christmases done but I'm gonna try because you know what I'm fed up of hearing only about one side of everything when there's many so let's see how I get this done because I've just given myself, well, I, I knew about the Christian one anyway, but I've just given myself um, Hanukkah for next year and find out what that miracle was, beating up the page. And I've just decided to do a, like, a Rastafarianism for Dummies guide, because I think that would be pretty cool, because I think loads of people just sit there and think Rastafarian means somebody with dreadlocks and a spliff in their mouth which is actually well I actually think that's quite a, a degrading view of someone if that is just your view on them um it's a bit like saying the Irish are just there with Guinness in one hand and a pipe in the other because for a start I've not actually seen an Irish person with a pipe in their hand ever and um a lot of my family are like, oh no, 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 cigars. One of my uncles smoked cigars. That was the closest I got to pipes. Um, so, yeah, the, half, half of my family are Irish and the closest we got was cigarettes and cigars. And as for Guinness, they were all like sherry drinkers. That's not what you think of when you think of Irish, is it? So I'm pretty sure doing the deep dive into Rastafarianism I'm going to find a lot more out and it'll be fun to share that knowledge and not only that you see how I have these like the, these are my Halloweeny ones because they're black and red but I do actually have some that um I've got one that's um it looks like a Jamaican flag and one that's got um, cannabis leaves on so I can change the front studs, especially for that video. Just just because, why not? Why is it Rennie and Rome? Because um, why not? You know. And not only that, that would give me an excuse to do like, a food video or something, wouldn't it? Sorry, I'm just sitting there thinking of all the nice food. Um, <laughs> I am such a pain in my own bum. Right, I will stop ranting now. But, yeah, sorry it's been so late. It has been a bit of a 
few days like week or so um hopefully everything will be a bit more settled now and i'll be back to annoying you very shortly have fun know your power uh if you have any answers to any of the questions i've got like if you're jane seek or jewish you seem to be the main ones and, and rastafarian if you want to help me out let me know in the comments that would be grand all right then thank you Play your power. Bye.